<gasps> he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one too. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Hold on. I, I don't care. Here, just throw in there. Throw in there. I don't care if he's loose. They schooling right here. That's why you just got that bite. You got another one? Oh, oh, I got one. Triple. We got three fish in the boat. The time is here. The time is now. Everybody's been saying, Noah, where are the lake videos? Noah. Actually, they've been more rude comments. Noah, why don't you fish a lake? Well, you know what, buddy? I don't have a boat yet, but guess what? It just arrived and I'm so excited. There's not one other person that's more excited than me to get out on the lake. I've been dying, guys. The bank fishing videos are fun because I can relate to you guys and that's the whole reason why I started doing those. I've done YouTube for eight, I've done fishing videos for eight years, guys. And literally six out of those eight years were all lake fishing videos, if you guys didn't know for the new subscribers. Um, just started doing the bank fishing to relate to people that don't have the boats. And today, I'm gonna be showing you the new boat. Me and my dad are gonna go out on the lake. We're gonna test drive it. We gotta break it in, so we're gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the new graphs that I have on it. And also, I'm gonna run you through like a little tour before we put it in on the water. So if you guys are new to the channel, smash that freaking subscribe button hit the notification bell if you guys haven't already hit that like button let's get this thing to 5,000 likes if you guys want to see more boat videos like this let's hop right into it everybody asking for big steve man i said bring that back smash and bring that like yeah button. smash that like button for big steve <laughs> <laughs> everybody's been saying uh bring bring dad back and uh dad's back hashtag, hashtag the real deal the real deal folks get you some yes sir Boop. <laughs> can't I can't believe every place. it actually feels pretty good today. It was 40 degrees yesterday. It's a little windy. And I don't know if that's going to, is that going to help or hurt us, Noah? That's going to help us. The wind's your friend. You know that. I know the wind's our friend. I love the wind. That's the thing, guys. People, people don't like the wind. The wind's your best friend when fishing. But the thing about wind with what I do is filming the audio. That's the only downside. But rather than that, if you guys go out on the lake, you guys go out on the ponds, you guys go out on the kayaks and some of those miniature lakes, the wind is your friend. You will catch them. So Big Steve, what are we doing today before I even We're hop into We're gonna check out this beast of a hot rod Noah just got. Thank you to Ranger Boats. It is- Big shout out to Ranger. It is BA and awesome. pretty awesome. And I can't wait to get in there and check this thing out. It's beautiful. Uh, if it runs as good as it looks, we're gonna be on the money. Oh, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. We gotta break it in, guys, we gotta do that. But let's go ahead and reveal this bad boy. Big shout out to Ranger for you know hooking me up with a great deal. We had the old boat for a long time, and I just got just bought this one. 2014, baby. Two months ago, yeah, 2014. Had that one for like five years, and uh, it's time for an upgrade, baby. So it's happening. I can't believe it. This thing's almost too nice. I'm scared to even put it in the water, but you know what? When you get a boat, what do you do with a boat, man? You put it in the, you it put in the, in the water. dang That's water, where it right? Belongs. Exactly. Get in your home. Yes, sir. Here we go, Big Steve. You ready? It's people? Big unreveal. People are ready. The Wait reveal. Is this how they do it? Just like that. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> this... I'm a model for you guys out here. It's Fat Boys Fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Boys Fishing TV. <laughs> oh, man. But, guys, this is the boat right here. If you guys were wondering, this is a Ranger Z520L. I have the Ranger Z520C of the last boat. It was a 2014. This thing is brand new, 2019. As you guys can tell, just overall such a beautiful boat. Um, got the rims on it. It's not the old got some bling, cheap bling, ones that we baby. had last time. And uh, man, this thing's just looking so, so bad. Like I said, it's so scary to put these things in the water. You spend so much money on them and it's just, that's what they're meant for though. But that is the boat. That is the whole rig right there that you guys are gonna be seeing in the upcoming videos. And let's do a little walkthrough. I think that's what you guys are here for. Um, if you guys are wondering about my trolling motor, I ended up getting the same trolling motor as last time, which is the Minn Kota Ultra X. This thing is bad, guys. I loved it. I got it on the last boat not too long ago and I fell in love with it. That is just overall, just a bad trolling motor right there. And you guys are gonna see something different now. So with the graphs, all these years that I've been tournament fishing, probably what, eight years around there? Wow. Eight years, nine years? I've used Lowrance graphs and I made the switch over to Hummingbirds this year. These are actually two 12 inches right here by the trolling motor. And in the dash right here, we got us a flat screen. <laughs> it just went all out, guys. And uh, we got the 40 inch big screen TV <laughs> on here. <laughs> this, is, this is the 15. You can go, here, go ahead and take that off for me. Do a little reveal. These things are so beautiful. Those birds. 
but this is the 15 inch we're going to take a look at everything once we get out on the water i still got to set these up and get used to them that's the biggest thing with the big switch from lawrence the hummingbirds is they're so different i've never used a hummingbird before this is going to be my first time and so it's a learning a learning curve um for sure haven't been on the boat in a while i've been dying to do it but it was just a very long process with us getting rid of the old boat and i ended up buying the new boat and when i bought the new boat the whole situation on it taking so long was one they had to, they had to build this boat obviously but two i had to get the graphs on it. i was dealing with certain companies trying to get all the stuff settled and it was taking months so anyways i'm gonna have to relearn these graphs this is a whole nother journey which guys I, I love a challenge it's gonna be new it's gonna be different these hummingbirds are a little more complex than you know the garments and the lorances i've never used a garment either i've been on the boat um with some garments but yeah, so this is it's gonna be a whole new little process. But we're gonna make it happen. If you guys are wondering what's on the back, we got a 250 Yamaha show right here. Same motor that I had on the old boat. This thing has has I'm not even gonna say it, matter of fact. I like the motor. That's all I'm saying. I'm not even gonna Well this was a special deal. Most it. of these boats come with a Merc on them, right? Yep, exactly. And we had to actually get with Yamaha and Yamaha specially shipped this motor in just for Noah and his boat. Exactly. You got something else new hanging off the back of here you haven't yes, had sir. before. What is that? We got a jack plate now. Hydraulic jack plate. That's something new. That, that's what I'm saying. Put the camera on me real quick. This, this is going to be a whole learning curve because, you know, I have my old boat. I never had a hydraulic jack plate on it. We had the poles. Um, we had the show. Same thing. Um, we didn't have the birds. So this is going to be a whole new process, which I'm excited for because I love trying new things and um, jumping into it and it's going to be fun to take you guys along the journey we're going to be filming so many videos off this thing but you guys got to understand for the people who subscribe for mainly the bank fishing content that's always going to stay guys one thing i've tried to do with my channel um with the last couple of years is really try everything you know kayak fishing boat fishing lake fishing river fishing creek fishing bank fishing i mean e everything um and i want to relate to everyone so if you guys are thinking the bank fishing content's going away that is not the case whatsoever. We're gonna have a mixture of everything here on Kicking Their Bass TV because we number one up here. Hashtag yeah. bring dad back. Hashtag bring dad back in the comment <laughs> section below. I don't really wanna to talk too much about the boat because I really just wanna get out here at the end of the day and I go give this baby a drive, but we're not gonna be hopping into the fishing right away. You know, we're gonna have to drive it a little bit. We're not gonna bring it over 3,500 RPMs today. We're gonna ride it around a little bit, toy around with it, get familiar with it, run around, check some spots. I do wanna check out the grass. I'm gonna take you guys along with me on that. Excited to be back on the lake. If you guys are wondering, the fishery that we're fishing today is the beautiful Lake Lanier. This is actually where I grew up fishing. This is my home lake. Um, before I ended up moving, I still consider it my home lake. This place out here, for people that don't know Lake Lanier, it is a whole nother animal. You know, people that fish largemouth fisheries, this isn't a largemouth fishery, this is spotted bass. Very aggressive and um, mean, mean fish. So with that being said, Lake Lanier, the water clarity is ridiculous. This is a big party lake, guys. The depth is crazy. It's not gonna be like your standard largemouth lake where you're fishing in five foot of water. That's not how this runs out here. You know, there's gonna be points and times of, throughout the year where you're fishing in 65 foot standing timber, dropping a jig down there jigging a jigging spoon which you guys to see in a couple months or probably a month from now um, we're going to be filming some videos on that and there's so many different things you can do out here in this fishery if you're new and you've never been on lake lanier i promise you i know this sounds crazy and i'm not just saying it it's going to be hard for anyone that's never been here even for me i've only fished the place two times this year because i haven't had my boat so with that being said it's going to be a new little thing for me to get out here try to get back on these spotted bass i've been fishing for a large amount for a while fishing the rivers and um, mainly a bunch of the ponds, which I'm so glad to kind of step away from for a minute and hop on the boat and go find some big old spotted bass right now. So let's go ahead and dump this thing down in the lake and get to fishing. Look at this, boys. I forgot to show you this. Got some brand new pliers, got some loose pliers right there. Kicking colored, baby. Those are looking sharp. Got some new six inch pliers. Big shout out to them. They just sent them to me. I didn't even ask for them, man. That's gonna be perfect for the new boat, especially in the kicking color. All right, boys, just got out here. Look how beautiful it is. It was 40 degrees yesterday, and now it's like 65. It feels amazing out here. And uh, we just got the new hummingbird set up. It was on demo mode. Um, I'm gonna have to toy around with everything on this to really get it right. This is the hummingbird mapping right here, which I've never used before. Look at that. See how it labels right there? It's got a row bed. Labels coming off right there. My dad's toying around with those up there. Um, these things are just beautiful. I just love how it looks. It has a little protector on there. I think I'm gonna keep that on for a while. 
um, until I really have to take it off so I can keep that screen clean for as long as possible. If you guys are wondering the stuff that we brought out today, I brought you know my little six cents box. I haven't got to put this stuff in littler boxes yet because I wanted to wait until I actually got my boat and I'm gonna start organizing all this stuff in the boxes. Um, that's a little secret what I have in there and we'll show you guys that here in a little bit. And then I brought my kayak in that net. That's all I have with me. All the tackle that I usually keep in my boat, I don't have here. It's actually at my house in Savannah. But I'm gonna start toying around with this. I'm not gonna film it the whole time because I don't wanna bore you guys. I just kinda wanna experiment with it. We got our down scan right here. We got our sonar. We got our side scan. And then the mapping right here. This is a big screen. I really like it. Um, it's better than having two. Before I had two nines, Lorances, And now this is a 15 Humminbird. Two 12s up there. All right, boys. Let's turn on this trolling motor. We're gonna toy around for a minute. I'm gonna just fish this point. It's coming off over here. The trolling motor's still a little stiff. It's brand new. Gotta make sure we're wearing that bad boy in. Got the two graphs right there. As you guys can tell, that's perfect. I love the placement of those. If you guys are wondering what I'm gonna throw across, it's big old six cents mag dog right here. Oh my gosh. Can whip that thing a mile, it's so heavy. There he is. I hammered that swim bait. Speed glide. He's small. Feels good to catch a little spot. Look at that, boys. First spot. Haven't even done much. Got me a spot on the speed glide. I knew they'd eat that. Literally matches the hatch. Look how fat he is. <laughs> look at the look at the belly on that thing. Yep. We're throwing the top waters over this guys and I didn't see really much action. Picked up the speed glide by six cents. It's a little natural color. Matches the forage out here. And got us a little old fat spot. You can tell he's been eating today. Look at his belly. About a pound and a half. Where are them pliers? Got the old loose pliers. This is my first fish on the new boat, matter of fact. All right. First fish on the new boat. Five minutes in. Yeah, matter of fact, we gotta get a picture with the new fish, can't we? Or first fish on the new boat. Look at his little fat belly. That's awesome. First fish today on the old speed glide. Look how fat he is. So I was only throwing it for a couple minutes. Fat old spotted bass. That's pretty. Look at him take off. Might be a swim bait type of day. I think just to be able to get him to come up on that top water though, but maybe not everywhere. If you could pull him up, you know, you didn't think about that, but you know, even throwing that top water, that could have gotten him to start looking up, you know. They just want something below the surface and they eat that swim bait. You can't see, you can barely see the little reflection guys, but we're just idling off to this other spot that I'm going to. See that big bait ball? So this is a side scan, scan off to the left, a scan off to the right. You see that bait ball suspended in the middle of the water column right there. Oh God, look at that bait. My bait's messed up, of course. Yeah, that was a big spot came up. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Every time they go schooling like that. I saw the bait pushing up to the top just at the wrong second. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. <laughs> that's a good one too. Oh, don't break your rod. Hit the hit the thing out. Dude, that's such a fatty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude, <laughs> hold on, I, I don't care. Here, just throw in there, throw in there. I don't care if he's loose. They schooling right here, that's why you just got that bite. You got another one? Oh, oh, I got one, triple, we got three fish in the boat. Wait, let's keep going, bro. I got a pretty good one. Oh, here's is good too. Mine's in the side. Oh my God, he swiped at it. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna put him in the lava. Gosh, guys, we got three fish right now. They're still over here schooling. I want my get my dad or somebody back in there. One, two. That was the quickest. Oh, that was a good one, dude. That's a piece of fish right there. Mm, look at that one. That's almost three pounder. 
two and a half, three. Throw in there. Dude, that was crazy. I hate that we push back up on it. There's a hundred of them underneath you. Is there that many? There's a bunch of them, dude. We gotta back off. Yeah, I see them under me. Oh, dang it. I was hoping we weren't. I wish we had a third person in the boat. <laughs> Good thing your fish came off and you could throw back in. Yeah, that was crazy. Those were the same fish that were schooling right there. We just caught three in literally 20 seconds. That ain't even no joke. I know, I'm gonna back us off. Ooh, that was crazy. Look at them all down there, guys. See that? Look at all them fish. We're gonna back off. Three fish in literally 20 seconds. I was wondering what just happened. So we just pulled up on the spot. You know, I was fishing, saw some bait come up to the top. Before I even saw it, like I just started to see like some bubbliness. I saw a spot hit it. We threw over there, nothing. Then all of a sudden, about 30 seconds later, I saw a few fish on my graph, only like two or three. And all of a sudden he had one. I watched him eat it literally with my glasses. And then right after he caught that fish and he flipped it up in the boat, the fish just started schooling. So I picked up my rod, beamed in there. My dad's fish came off. He beamed in there. We both doubled up. We caught three fish in like 20 seconds. So now, right now, when this happens, you know, you usually catch a few, then the fish scatter and they're gone. But we saw a lot of bait right here that came up right next to us. What I'm going to do, this is a little tip right here, especially for you tournament fishermen out there. And we've done this so many times, especially on these Heron Lakes. Lanier, Hartwell, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive right next to where all that bait was and I'm going to sit here and floor the motor. And you guys are probably wondering what does that do? And what it's going to do is it's going to stir up that bait. And once that bait starts to stir up, it's going to cause those fish to start feeding up on all those shad. So we're going to try it out. It doesn't work every time, but um, you know, if we can fire these fish up to do the same thing that we just did, that'd be pretty, pretty crazy. I kind of want to see on my graph too, see if there's still some fish up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up to this spot. I'm gonna turn the boat, watch this. I see one fish. So now I'm gonna put it in reverse. Look at that, show them that right there. See how all the water stirred up? And if there's some bait underneath there, majority of the time, if you could stir up those bait fish, those fish will start feeding again. So if that's gonna happen in the next minute to two minutes, next 30 seconds to two minutes, you'll start to see fish school. So let's go ahead, shut off the boat and see if these fish are gonna come back up. While we're sitting here, if we see them schooling, kind of wanna look at this. That's a good one, man. That's like two and a half pounder, two and a half pound spot. Trying to jump out. That's crazy, dude. Look at the 20 seconds, three fish. Look how dark he is.